Tonight, all new here on the Rant Line, you were talking about the former Louisville Metro Police Detective Mark Handy, accused of framing several innocent men for murder, has agreed to a plea agreement yet to be accepted by a judge that would have him serve one year in prison. The city has already paid out a multi-million dollar settlement to one of his victims, Edwin Chandler. You're also talking about the disagreement over lifting the mask mandate for Indiana between Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb and Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear. Plus rants coming in about the loophole in the Kentucky law that lawmakers closed last week. If you are ruled incompetent to stand trial and aren't likely to respond to any treatment, nothing happens. You're let go. That's now been removed. My name is Randy from Southern Indiana. My rant is when they have loopholes in the criminal justice system, all it does is allow these defense lawyers to get the criminals back on the streets. If they kept the loopholes closed in the first place and get rid of most of them, there wouldn't be nearly as many much crime going on because all the criminals will actually be punished, kept in jail. The Governor Holcomb, listen, don't be petty, don't be childish. This is a very serious matter. You could have called the Kentucky governor. You all could have consulted. You lift your ban. You've already announced your date. You didn't consult anybody, so why should he? Yes, Mr. Prophet. This is Richard from Louisville, Kentucky. My rant is, uh, how come they don't uh, come around, pick up the trash and stuff? It's all, you know, city of Louisville, you know, it's just looking, gets worse and worse every day. You know, paper, garbage all over the place, people dumping mattresses out on the side of roads. More rants coming in, John in Louisville, on the Mark Handy prison sentence of one year that's been proposed. Cop costs man years of his life, costs Louisville almost $9 million, and gets a sweetheart deal? Imagine that. The Indiana mask mandate ends tomorrow. Joseph in New Albany, remember if a private business still requires masks, you must wear them even if there is no mandate. They have the right to make and enforce any rule they deem necessary for the safety of their patrons. They have the right to refuse service if you don't comply. Holly in Louisville, just because the governor is ending it does not mean the stores will. People need to understand that. The mask mandate could return to Indiana. Brandy in Charlestown, I'll keep wearing my mask the rest of the year. It has not taken any freedoms away. It's actually helping us to get us all back to a normal place. I'll wear mine to protect the ones who don't wear a mask, but I do need my concerts back. Well, back to school for middle and high schoolers today at JCPS. Elementary is already back. Also, we have the NCAA tournament tonight, plus the Kentucky Derby is next. Are you looking at these big events any differently now than you did one year ago? Here's how you can contact the Rant Line. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can use Twitter. Find me at whas 11 Doug. Keep your emails coming to the rant at whas 11com And the toll-free Rant Line is now open at 855-749-1101.